Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, except for today. It's After Dark, <laughs> and we're playing really old games, specifically games from 1981. 81! Which is the year we're going to play in our countdown to the 45th anniversary of the Atari 2600. Mm -hmm. it celebrates its 45th birthday today, uh, as of September 11th. Uh, this year, even. This year, yeah. yes. 45th birthday this year because uh, it was launched in September 11th 1977 so we're going to be playing every single Atari 2600 game ever released to the public we're getting through them yeah and we're up to 1981 we've done 1977 to 1980 now that seems like we're going very fast <laughs> it's because not as many games were released in these years as the years after yeah Okay, we can do all of 1981 today. Mm -hmm. 1982 is three days. Wow. Okay. 1983 is even more. Really? Days. Yeah, it gets astronomically more games wow. after this. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, it's gonna be uh, a lot after this. So we're gonna be taking multiple days every time. And then as it gets after 1984, then it, it starts, starts to decline so really quick. So 84 would have been the pinnacle of game releases Yeah, because that's cartridge. the crash, is 84. And then... 83, 84. Okay. And then 85 onwards, we're probably going to be able to start combining the years again. Yeah. <laughs> um, I love the, the comments. Azir says, zero page home minus the brew. And Charles yeah. Wieland says, zero page corporate brew. <laughs> zero page classic. <laughs> yes. Is what I've kind of put on the, classic. the big screen, yeah. the title screen there. Very nice. Um, so we have some Activision games today. They, yeah. We had some Activision games last time, a okay. couple. Was that the starting point that of Activision? That was the starting point of Activision. Now yeah. we've got some other companies getting in on it. Apollo and Comavid mm. as well. So they're the second and third third-party uh, game Apollo makers. Apollo and Coma, what and Comavid. Comavid. Yeah. Know, the Comavids are not really games. But they're releases. Okay. So we'll look at them. Okay. Um, briefly. I don't know if they can take up five minutes, but uh, mm. we'll take a look at them anyway. Mm. Um, so I want to uh, thank all the subscribers. Scrolling down the left hand Ooh. side or beside Tanya, which it's on your right, yes. For you guys out there. Yeah. Uh, Elnafar Arkham H, uh, Armscar Coder, Atari 800 to XL Rules, Atari 1974, Atari H Bar, Atari S Maxus, Pierre Polka, Buck Owens, or Burl Lives, Chelsea Donnie Mao, Charles and Jack Charles Moon, Ch Colonel Lama, Dianoi, Danny Vizzi Daryl, 1970, Drexel, Dr. Mook House, Fox Molly, Great Defender, Gr Grouch Borger Rapper, Johnny Nitro, Johnny WC, Capiro, JRM, Carl G, Ken Jennings Invader, Kev Kelly Croco, 2600, Lauren TDZ, Mark Man Marhanes, Mark Space Inc., Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Littell, Miss Command, Mr. Zoru, Mr. Fix, Money Funster, Nathan Strum, Nostalgic, 26 Packer, VG Cog, R. Anschwitz, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless, VG, Ricardo Pims, Rod Castler, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Spice, Rass, Ramirez, The D Train, Wash Made in Tiki Dan K, T. Events, Trek, MD. Thank you so much. Um, and if you want to subscribe, it's free if you have Amazon Prime. If mm -hmm. not, you pay through the nose. Um, yeah, just <laughs> click subscribe. Um, so I want to make a correction from okay. last. Uh, from 1980, when we played 1980 games. Oh! One correction. of them was actually in 1981. It was Video Pinball. Oh, you had some bad is, intel? I, I, I was doing them on the year, and I wasn't going to the next year. Okay. So I wasn't looking at releases in 1981, and I think on the label it says 1980. Oh, and okay. so some places have them labeled as if they were released in on, 1980. The, on the date on the cartridge. But oh, that is not correct gotcha. for a lot of these. Yeah. They have, because they were made in, you know, 1980, or they were going to put a, le a later year, like, say, it says 1983, but it was actually released in December 82. Mm. So uh, where I get the information from is they look at the ads released and it's like on sale now and they look for the earliest ads in newspapers okay and that's the dates i'm going by yeah not the random dates that they put on these cartridges okay yeah, yeah. fair it, enough because they can be wrong yeah how many people on the list uh over 60 
And Is I, it? Yeah, over 60 people nice. on the list, so it's a pretty, pretty hefty list. Yeah. Uh, shovelware today. No, no shovelware today. Very little shovelware, actually. <laughs> Most of these, you will you will know these names, except for a couple mm -hmm. of these you're probably very familiar with, in fact. I like the D-Train. Zero page homebrew regrets the air. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, sacked the people responsible. Yes. And we have sacked the people who have sacked the people. The people, yeah. <laughs> uh, so everything's good now. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it's after dark. We don't do news. We just get into the games mm -hmm. and start playing them. Um, so my list here, how many? I didn't add them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen releases mm. for 1981. There was one release called Action Pack, which is a packaging a compilation a or? compilation of Othello Dodgem and Breakout oh so previously released titles in one yeah so they released that later in the year because uh, okay. Dodgem was last year Breakout was last year but Othello's this year gotcha so it, it was released mid or late it doesn't have a date yeah. Fair it, enough. nobody knows when that mm -hmm. was released just 1981 sometime uh, 1981 is where I started with the Odyssey 2 oh the drama <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, I'm trying to. This is probably the year that I played first played the Atari. So, b not before eighty one. No. Okay. Because I look at the eighty one and I go, I played different games. Okay. I played newer games because you know you play the Atari and it has a stack of games. Yeah. And the games in that stack were released later than that when I first played it. Okay, okay. So, and miss and uh, let's see, Missile Command was there. Yeah. Um, Asteroids was there. Um, and some of the earlier games as well. So okay. I think around 1981 is when I Your first started playing the Atari okay. 2600. Or you remember. Because I didn't have one. No, it was through friends, right? Um, it was actually, th funny enough, through an ant had an Atari 26. Really? But probably from one of their kids. Gotcha. Okay. And it was in Calgary. Okay. But I but before I played that, I played an Intellivision. That was the first game console I ever played was okay. an Intellivision. Okay. Um but then uh, shortly after that it was the Atari 2600. Mm. Um so we're going to start off with Oh, uh, careful, careful, careful. Sticky, sticky. Uh we're going to start off with Steeple Chase, mm. which was March 4th, 1981. Uh, it's played with paddles. You know, you know, you're paddles. not. You're not starting in January. There was nothing released in January. Wait, I thought. I thought the bottom of that list started. It says January, but it's I am correct. putting January first okay. for any titles that are released in that year. Gotcha. Okay. Because then I'm able to sort things. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> um, because nothing's released in January that I've I've seen so far. That's a very good point. No because one, no one releases after games Christmas. after Christmas. No, it'd be yeah. a very bad idea to yeah. do it. The Intellivision, great system. Yes, and I played the hell out of um, the Dungeons and Dragons, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons mm. game. Very, very fun. So take that. I've never played this game. I know the game. I know the name. Steeplechase? Yeah, January is usually the lull after the holidays. Yeah, that's why. So let's switch it over. Yeah, very little is, is released in January, that's for sure. This is released in March 4th, 1981. It's the CX-2614. Oh, yeah. Let's see if you can get there. Oh, it does work. One second. Let me switch that over. There we go. Ah! Ah! Stop well, you it. have to there move a bit. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Steeplejace. Oh, those horses' legs are broken. Oh, oh my god. They look like rocking horses. They do. <laughs> Uh, this is made by Jim Huther, and this is one of the three games that Atari produced exclusively for Sears. Really? So this was only sold in Sears. In Sears. Now, I wonder what made them think, oh yeah, horse jumping. That's that's, that's what the, the Sears crowd wants. Yeah. Sears is all about the horse jumping. <laughs> um, so the first one might be one player. Let's see. Are you jumping? Yeah, Which one I think do you so. think you are? I think I'm the top? Yeah, that seemed to line up. 
Are you landing or are you crashing? Oh. You're, you're seeming to keep up, so I think that little... Are they doing that too? Ooh. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think this is all about the jumping. Yeah, it slows oh, you down. Let's start the timer. A little bit extra time on steeplechase there. Ooh. <laughs> are they speeding up? I don't know. I don't know. You're keeping up-ish with them. I'm not really sure how... Thank you, Atari 2600, dude, for the... Looks like they're wearing ice skates, yeah. It does. The horses are crouched in their starting box. Oh, you're lagging behind a bit. But you haven't crashed. You are jumping all over them. It's I basically doubt you have to an early the... rhythm game. <laughs> yeah. I doubt you have to it's wiggle the paddle. Do you think you have to wiggle the paddle? Try wiggle. and do it. Oh, you go faster? Oh, maybe. Wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it. Yeah, the speed is ramping up. Oh, on the on the jumps. Yep. And the timer is not in seconds, that's for sure. Actually doesn't look too bad. Yeah, the horse graphics are really good and the animation. I mean, it's got just two frames, but... Well, and the jump. The jump has an, uh, like f another additional least three frames. Okay. Uh, I mm, came in second. Third. Oh, sorry. Second, <laughs> second to last, I mean. Yeah. So let's see if I can play too. With two players. Must be 16 bit for his sprites. I don't know if that was me. I don't really know how this works. I didn't hit the button and it jumped anyway. Oh. Oh. Are you jumping? No, I'm not pressing the button. Is this just like betting? Like. You just bet on the steeplechase? Wow, it's going a lot faster. I'm going to look up the instructions for this, because this doesn't make any sense. No, it's not quite making sense, is it? I won! Not sure what's going on. Uh, steeplechase. Okay, object of the game. Yep. Play against computer horses in games one and four. Mm. Oh, so that one you actually were not jumping. So, let's do it. I don't know which one I am. So, what other movements <laughs> are there? You Using controllers. Uh, be sure there's controller jacks in the back here. Video. Hold the controller. Red button. Da, da, da. Before the I don't know key. what I'm doing. I don't know if this is doing anything. Each player has four seconds to press the red controller button. This will place your horse in the race. Oh. Okay. We gotta press our buttons. Okay, press your button. Okay, I'm third. And you're fourth. Oh, that's me. So we weren't actually playing. Oh, God. Oop. So you could bet on it. Because they were randomized, right? Oh, oh, no, I did trip on that one. Oh, I tripped on that one. No. Am I tripping on it? Ow. Horse views. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, you have to hold it down the whole way. Hold it down. Yeah, you have to not let go of it through the whole jump. Oh. Kicking my ass. You had some practice. Some virtual practice. Yeah, apparently. Just virtual. Yeah, because I land on my legs if I... If you hold it. No, yeah, oh. you, if you hold it, you land on your legs. Yeah! Woo. By far! Let's try... Yeah, the anyway. odd horse feet is when they trip. They're like okay, press falling button, over. Press your button. Press your button. <laughs> Looks like it can be up to four people. Yeah, it does. Because there's four paddles. And if you don't trip, you go faster, right? Because it doesn't slow you down. I assume so. Ugh. It's really hard to jump over anything but the smallest ones. Oh. Ugh. Ugh really hard. So I'm trying late and I'm trying early. No, there's no way with that. Oh. When it goes really fast, it gets really hard. Have you been able to jump over like a, yeah. a, a big one? You have to time it really well though. I can't even jump over a double sized one. Ugh. 
You also have to release it before you hit the ground. Really? Yeah. Otherwise, you trip over your own feet. Kick yeah. my ass again. I wonder what the best time is. Tanya, yeah. one by a mile. I certainly did. Oh, All right. That's it for Steeple Chase. That was pretty fun. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Next one is Stellar Track. Okay. Charles Woodland, I wonder that too, what your best time is. Well, you'd well, have this to probably clear timed. every single one of them. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Because the first one was exactly three minutes, so I guess it's how far ahead you get, but it must depend on the game. I'm going to play this one because it is not... What are you playing? Obvious. Okay. Um, it is Stellar Track. Now, this is based off of Star Trek. Okay. Um, Starfleet to Starship Commander. Your mission is to destroy 13 alien warships in 14 star dates. Now, if you press reset, it'll do randomized amount of aliens and oh, star Oh, really? Dates. Cool. But 13 and 14 is very low, so I'm going to go with that one. So... You can look at the galaxy map. You can look at the long range scanner. Mm. You can fire your phasers. You can fire your four photon torpedoes. You can look at a short range scanner. You can look at your status. Or you can warp somewhere. We're going to look at the status. It's start at 14. There are 13 aliens. Yep. We have 3,000 energy, 9 photon torpedoes. Everything's okay. Uh, we're in quadrant 41 and sector 48. So we look at the galaxy map we can't see anything so we're going to look at the long range scanner um there is one alien that we can see mm -hmm. in the third mm -hmm. and three one i think it's three and then so it's one three and we're in four one four down in the first one four down one across yeah so we need to warp Play a similar game to this? No. We warp to the area and then you fight things? Uh, yes, but this is the earlier version, version of, of it. it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. So we need to. So it's one, two, three. That's the course. So we're going to go two, which is an angle like that. Mm -hmm. um, factor, we want to go two in distance two across and two up or no it doesn't work like that you do direction and distance oh my goodness okay and the first one is the overview mm. and the second one is the close-up you just do zero because we don't know where they are and obviously i don't no i'm reading it wrong then mm -hmm. okay so we are in four chelsea don't now says wrong way yeah four okay. across one down so now we want to warp one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Factor one. Zero. And we're on the aliens. Turns red. Gotcha. And then we can look at the short range scanner. Okay. That's our ship at the bottom. Looks suspiciously Star Trek y mm -hmm. without being licensed. The other ones look like Star Wars. Um. <laughs> And so we can't really fire our uh, photon torpedoes. Oh, they hit us because we moved. Um, we have to use our phasers because we have... They're too far away? Well, they're not at the right angle. If they're straight up, we could do it. Okay. So fire our phasers. Um, normally they start with 99 and then they go up. Um, so we'll just shoot them for 200 units because okay. they have they have 99 shields to begin with so two oh, 200 destroyed i read the instructions before because i've never played this i game. was like oh have you played this before <laughs> hey andrew hey andrew it's late enough that people in australia can watch that's right um and this i believe is based on a very very old text-based game that would scroll up the screen Mm. And they would show the map, scroll up, show the map. So let's go back to the galaxy map. We can't see any. Okay. Because the first number is how many aliens? The second number is mm -hmm. a starship that you can dock with and refuel. So let's do another long range scanner. Mm -hmm. Sitting down at my desk, working at my new job. Well, Sounds this, like this a is research. Pretty You're nice watch, job. Then. Watching, this, <laughs> yeah. watching this show is research. Yeah. Oh. Okay. 
Two aliens. Two aliens. We're in quadrant three across, and the first one. So we can go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's warp. Course six, factor one, and zero. And we're in the aliens. Okay. There you go. All right. That's a very. It's cool because it has. Game. <laughs> it has text. How well, many. It, even modern it's homebrews like a, almost do you like see? It's like a strategy game. Like, like uh, it's again. Yeah, it is a strategy game. Speaking of those games that started to seep in that have stories and more complex um, gameplay. Yeah. You know, like, I still think. I think Superman was kind of the first, more of an action game, but it a had. Fellow. It had um, so, some substance to substance it. Substance right? and story, which is really cool. Instead of just being. Um... Oh, it's lunchtime for him. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that was released March 4th, 1981, as well, uh, by Robert Z. I don't know, there's a whole bunch of consonants together. Okay. Um, so this is Othello or Go. Ooh, terrible controls. It's like the. Uh, Checkers controls. That it's we're been playing. so long since I played. Yeah, if you put I it know there. How, I know how it works. Oh, okay. I just, mind. it's, I'm not, not very good. So this is released a couple days later, March 7th, 1981, is CX 2639 by Ed Log. Also known as, also released under the name Reversi. Hmm. Hey, Ty Style. Welcome. Yeah, it's 12, uh, 1 20 p.m. Tuesday here in Melbourne, Australia. The late shows are very good for um, Australians. <laughs> Not so good for Europeans. That is very early in the morning for Europeans. Um, yeah, it's a, another board game, and I think this might be one of the last mm. board games on the 2600. Mm. <laughs> They've covered all the basics now. All the rest of them are... Oh, except for chess. We still haven't made it to chess yet. They're still settling the lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> the, the chess lawsuit? Yes. See how far you can get. I'm, I'm, I'm terrible at this game. Minutes. This is, this is going to be pretty pretty sad. Yeah, this game turns around I, uh, really quick with, with one move. Just go, do, 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 fills the board with the other color. So Tanya is white. Yeah. And the computer is playing black. Ah. Uh. And is it, for anybody who hasn't played it, it's also Go as well? Go, yeah. And if she puts that one there, you have to trap... Yeah, you flip the... You have um, to trap their pieces between another piece and the one you lay, and it flips all of their colors mm -hmm. to your color. But they can then do the other thing, the mm -hmm. other way as well. So you don't want to put one down that is going to be it's open for them time. to be flipping over as well. Yeah. 2600 dude says my version of this back in the day didn't have the four markers on the board. Oh, those four things. They probably have done. They did updates probably once in a while. Yeah. Um. There, there are also PAL versions of these games released under different titles in different areas of the world, and they may have altered them a little bit for that area. Um. Also released like pirate copies of them as well and they might change them a tiny bit usually not because mm. i don't know how much effort pirates are going to put into <laughs> hacking games but uh oh the bottom left yeah no because he has no black oh he'll get me so there he'll get you right yeah. away never mind i mean yeah, you have to sacrifice things here. I have not played this. I used to have a little One magnetic board. Have you ever had the magnetic no, board game? Not of no, this. No, oh, thank you so much for subscribing, uh, Carlos Madruga. Glad you're enjoying our uh, our countdown of every mm. game <clears throat> ever made for the Atari 2600. <laughs> yep. For release, not made. We're not doing prototypes because nobody got their hands on prototypes mm. until much later. Except for the programmers. Oh yeah, it was also called Reversi. Mm -hmm. Atari 2600 dude may have played the Reversi version of this. And maybe they didn't uh, didn't have those markers. So that's a safe spot. No, it's not, because he has one in the black in the bottom right there. 
There well, we can take that one out. Bottom right one. It's mm. pretty safe there. I go there. Six seconds. Can't flip me back, can he? No, not from the right. Yeah. Oh boy. That's it for a fellow. <laughs> Next one is Laser Blast, the first I have right. a cartridge for. I was surprised I didn't have a cartridge for this one. Maybe I do, and I couldn't find it. Oh, are you ready for Laser Blast? Mm. Shoot oh. the tanks at the bottom. Wait. There you go. You have to release ah! it. Crash into ah! it. <laughs> How does uh, that work? This is released March 12th, 1981 by Activision. It's uh, AG008. Oh, 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 this is not an easy game. Made by David Crane. Actually, it's one of their easiest. What? You can pretty much how does he, how, how? play it infinitely. How? He just shoots me immediately. Yeah, you have to keep moving. Oh. You can't just sit there. And it also is couch compliant. You can press the button to start again. Oh, God. You have to keep moving. Yeah, no, I get what you're saying. There's a timing to it. Yeah, they shoot, you move. Shoot, and then get them. And also, you have to release it rather than just shoot it. No! Oh, okay. And David Crane tells a very sad story about this game. Um, because it's couch compliant, you can ax. One kid got a really good score, he got the patch score. And then he wanted Damn. to go take the picture because you take a picture of the game. <gasps> no! He dropped the joystick <gasps> on the ground. No! Poor dude! And hit the button. So it, his score disappeared. <gasps> and he couldn't get the patch. No. Well, you've played this before. I'll let you I'm, uh, destroy I, it. I actually haven't got the patch for this yet. Really? Because it's really tedious. Oh. The, the patch score is kind of high. And you have to pay it, play it for like 25 minutes straight. Mm -hmm. 25 minutes straight, yeah. 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 Oops, not paying attention. But you can also roll the game in terms... Oh my god. You have to know the timing. And if you get really good at it, you can go bam, oh, <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Like that. Three. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom, boom. I can kind of see that there's there's... There's a nice, there's like a smooth rhythm to how they shoot. So once, it's, it's once you get used to game. it, it's just like boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. yeah. Weakest Activision game? Yeah. It, Atari 2600, dude. Apparently not a fan. I mean, it looks good. It's got playfield scrolling at the bottom, which is amazing. True. But the gameplay, whew, whew, it's, uh, it's repetitive. <laughs> it's repetitive. A zero six five zero two. I used to play this a lot. You get into a groove. I can I can yeah. see that. I can see that. That's why I haven't started the patch for it because I know it's just mm. it's brutal. It's a slog. Well, it might have to be the next one you do. Nope, dragster, hundred percent. Dragster, you want to get that one? Yeah, because I played it um, the last uh, show and it was like okay, okay you can, I'm you can get you this. can get the feel for it. Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit of practice and I can get it. Mm. Oh, the oh. next one. An extra life every thousand, so you get tons and tons of oh, lives. Oh, do you? Oh, oh no! Boom! <laughs> uh, let me try once more. I oh, take that back, Bridge. Bridge, yeah. Well, oh, you played that with Darcy, didn't you? Well, we didn't know how to play Bridge. Yeah, so I, I don't really That either. certainly didn't help. I know there's, you memorize cards and suits and trumps, and it's a very complex game. My grandmother used to play it. I think everyone's grandmother used to oh, play yes, it. It was 100%. such a popular game. It was Bridge every, you know, Friday night yeah. or whatever. Bridge with the ladies. <laughs> oh, don't record these scores. <laughs> 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 it's terrible. We're not going for scores here. Just just showing off the games. I don't know what the patch score is, but uh, it uh, takes more than five minutes. Yeah, I think mm. like you can roll the game at 999,000 or something. 999, and then it goes all exclamation marks. Mm. Damn it. Shoot me. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh, boom. You have 20 seconds to play some more. 20 seconds, okay. 
Yeah, I think you have to move the joystick and press it in. Yeah, there or you go. You just move the joystick. Or just move the joystick. That's why it was so sensitive. Because the <sighs> button wouldn't have done it if you uh, just dropped it, right? Oh, you can't, you can't be moving when you shoot. Not straight down. So it's either left, right, or straight down. <sighs> and it depends if you're moving or not. And that's it for Laser Blast. Now on to Missile Command. Okay, you're playing this one. Missile Command makes me crazy. Is it? It's so hard. It I'll just it, it frustrates me so much. So it's your turn. <laughs> okay. You read out the facts about it. Bridge? Nah, in my corner of the world, it was a euchre. Well, I I mean, I euchre. remember I played euchre in high school. We used to gather together and play euchre in teams, like, weirdly. I It's euchre I can play, or Renamed I used to be able to play. for the new generation? Yeah. Oh, it's not bridge, it's euchre? No, 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 euchre's a completely different game. Oh, okay. Game. Yeah. Uh... But weirdly, I used to play it as a teenager. But bridge? Ugh. What, what am I? What, do you, what, what am I doing? Oh, you didn't listen to what I said. No, I didn't. Uh, read out the facts for okay. this game. Okay, Missile Command came out March thirteenth, nineteen eighty-one. Was released by Atari. I don't know what the CX two six three eight reference is. That's the um, product number. Gotcha. Rob Fulop is uh i'm guessing the developer yep uh it is technically an action game and <laughs> no, that is I all, skip those. all the information <laughs> that i have not a, no other names for it no i didn't see any there no no because it's an arcade game nobody's going to rename an arcade no. game it's like why would you rename a popular arcade game something else that's not good for sales this this i have to say the gameplay of this game is just so unique and interesting. Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh, missed that one. Great uh, hack done, so you can play this with a roller ball, a trackball. Yeah. Um, I have the hack up there. Atari Age sells that. Really good with a trackball. Hundred percent recommend getting a trackball and the mm -hmm. hack version of this game if you like this game. Uh. The sounds in this game are awesome. The graphics in this game are awesome. This is a huge step up for Atari. Charles, Charles Whelan says, end of the world equals action game. And I played this game a lot. It scared the hell out of me in the 80s. Yes, because, yeah. You know, well, nuclear scare. Uh, nuclear bombs going off. Those are all cities down there that you're trying to defend. What is it? Threads? What was the, all, oh, the, yeah. all the terrifying All the shows. British people know Threads. Uh, All the 80s movies. Duck and cover, you know, and from, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Terminator, nuclear war, terrifying. Red Term Dawn. Yes. Um, yeah. The death scenes. War games. Yeah. Oh, I liked war games. That was good. Like every movie had to do with nuclear, nuclear war. war. Yeah. And just scared the hell out of you if you were a kid, right? Yeah. Easter egg in this game, Atari 2600 dude says. Ah, nice info. Oh boy, it's getting a little ha oh god, getting a little hectic now. Oh, oh no. no, Seattle. Oh, no. oh Los Angeles. <laughs> Do they have names? No, <laughs> they don't. That's bad. <laughs> Long Testing Beach, day Long after. Yeah. Oh, did I get a new city? Come on. Mhm. Mm nope. Oh, I did. Oh, that's you true. got one back because I lost two. I mean, in the arc. Oh, God. Oh, sorry, Vancouver. Oh, no! My depleted missiles. <laughs> A very, very good game. It is. Uh, gets crazy. Yeah. Andrew Davey, this is an excellent technical implementation for the platform. Oh, yes. my God, yes. The number of lines on the screen, I mean, they're using triplicate wides there for, um, they're using all the resources for, yeah, for the system. Yeah, to get it to work, yeah. And the sound is really good. Ooh, blue. Uh, oh, I got it, oh my god. Ah, no, no! Oh god. One city left, hanging on. Did you get one back? Uh, yeah. Oh, that noise means I got one back. All right, protect the middle. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, that's Seattle. It can go down again. No! No! 
Oh no! Oh, get New that York. one. Gotta save New York. Targeting. Ooh. New York still safe. Five seconds to go. One. Oh, it's getting all green. Oh. I'll let New York. And Kablooey. Kablooey. What's next? Uh, tennis. Tennis for two. Is that just another word tennis for international edition. Pong? No. Okay. It's actual, <laughs> actual tennis. So Not we doubles? <laughs> doubles tennis like we were playing last time? Doubles pong? Doubles pong. No, there's actual uh, people in this one. Might have to... Uh, Get something. We still have the. Oh no, we don't. I'd have to use the multi card. Poor tennis. Come on, tennis. It's got to be an authentic show. You got to have at least one card not work. Nope. Time for the multi card. About a, a little bit to the time now. Can you load it up, please? Yeah. Yeah, start the timer. Ooh, ah, ah. We have played this. I swear, yep. I swear. Or maybe a similar game. Is that me? Yeah. Yep. Okay, I'm on the bottom. Tanya's on the top. So when was this released? While I was fiddling? Oh, I don't have to hit the button. I just have to enter. Oh, yes, that's right. Oh. Haha. <laughs> uh, when was it released? Hold on. I'll read it out. Don't hit it. I'm, I'm old, sir. March 15th, right, 1981 by Activision. AG007 by Alan Miller. Nice. No other names. I can run for it. Yeah. You got that? Yeah. I guess it bounced. It bounced oh, I can, can I move forward? Uh, not here, but yes, you can. Oh, I didn't know you could. Ah! But it's not a great idea sometimes no, it's to not. move forward. Great implementation of tennis. Oh. It's really, really fun. How do you hit across? Uh, you have to hit it on the edge of your racket. Oh. On the edge? Yes. Uh. If you hit it, uh, so I'm on the top now. Oh, gosh. No! Woo. Uh, this cat's distracting me. That's, uh -huh. that's my excuse. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> this cat's all over the place. Oh, <laughs> just missed it. Oh. Two. Yeah, the thing is you want to get on the edge of your racket, but that's also a danger because you might miss it, which is what I've been doing every time <laughs> I've missed it. Yeah. Time to treat the kitties? Yeah, you can Ooh, do it after uh, this. Yeah, after, after this. this. We'll take a break and the kitties will get what ding, they ding, deserve. Ding. Do they deserve it? No, no. They do not. But they're cute. But they're so. cute and we love them. Yeah. Yes. Oh, he looks yes. like he wants some. Yes, you do, don't you? Oh. Ha ha. <sighs> This is pretty fun. It's a fun, <gasps> fun game. Oh, how that lucky. slow got past you. I know. Oh, man. Too close it to the It is a great arcade tennis game because you don't need to hit the ball. Don't need to hit the button. You just need to be in front of it. Yeah. And then the angle you hit. Oh, come on. Yeah. Angle your racket. Yeah. Oh, right to you. But, oh, but see, that's what you want to try and do. That's yeah. true. Knock it across the court. Oh. <laughs> Cats are very distracting. They're they getting anxious. Are. Oh, oh, come on. That was a good serve. Don't, haven't quite figured out how to do that yet. <laughs> oh. You just go way, you hit it. You, you hold down the button oh, while you're what? moving towards it. What are you talking about? When you're serving. Because you serve with the button. But if you're not no, close you enough. Oh, yeah, you do. You serve and you hold it? 
Okay, you move away from it, all the way away from it. Yeah. Hold down the button, then move towards it. Oh! <laughs> Makes it really hard. Ah! Damn it. And now you regret. I'm telling you, <laughs> yes. Oh! <laughs> All I have to do is move the opposite way you do. Yeah, it's true. If you're if you're paying attention. Ooh. Oh, that was a good cross court shot. Oh, come on. <laughs> you're standing on that side. It was my opportunity. Oh, I wasn't paying attention, so <laughs> I can't even get there fast enough. Have to watch where I am. Oh, I was trying to angle it. I can't angle it. It's it's brutal. It's uh, it's Ooh, challenging. They are getting anxious. Off the car. Uh, you can't move forward, and that's ding, my ding, problem. Ding. So I'm trying to move. The winner with 17 seconds left. There you go. I'm trying <laughs> to move back, and f I'm I'm trying to move forward, but you can't. So I'm not moving, and you're moving, and I gotta practice. Who Next will time. feed the cats first? Who's gonna feed these kitties first? Anyone? Anyone, Anyone? up for feeding the kitties? It's break time. Ugh. Oof. Pause that. Oof. Oof. Anybody? Oh, somebody wanted to feed the kitties, <laughs> but nobody's volunteering to feed the kitties. Mm. Are we gonna have to move on? Do you guys know how to feed the kitties? It's time. It's time. Yay! Yay! Patoko knows how to feed the kitties. <laughs> the kitties know Patoko. Oh, the squeaks! Oh, the squeaks! All right. Can't see the bells. You can't see the bells. Can't no. turn around. Okay, <laughs> there you go. One for you. Did you hit it? I'm gonna no. assume you did. I'm gonna assume you did. He didn't. He didn't hit it. Oh no. <laughs> oh, those are strong, strong <laughs> hits. Good sprite. Oh, he's so good he at it so now. He's so good at it now. No, no, you have to hit it. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Your brother's getting all of them. Hit it. Hit it. Good enough. Okay, good, good kitty. Enough. Good enough. He touched it. Yeah, it didn't quit ding. Oh my god. That's all you have left? Yeah. He's <laughs> like, service? Oh, it's broken to pieces. It's okay. Oh, good kitty. Oh, good kitty. Good kitty. Quick learner. Yeah, he learned oh, it. So fast. He caught on the second time we showed him. Yeah. Like, not even caught on, he did it the second time we showed him. Like really strong. Hit it. There you go. Good, Good kitty. kitty. Of course, he, he also Good had kitty. somebody to watch too. Atari had to yeah. learn from nothing. Yeah. Although Atari learned it really fast. He did. He, <laughs> food motivated. He's like, what? What? D bell? Treat? Done. <laughs> Charles Whelan <laughs> says, gimme, 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 gimme. <laughs> Yep. Two, two left. Two left. Who will get them? Yeah. Oh, Sprite good gets kitty. one. You gonna get it? Gonna get it. Atari. Yay. Good kitty. Good cats. Yeah. Gimme, gimme, gimme is right. <laughs> Cute kitties. There we go. <laughs> so what is next? He does not chew. He eats them whole. <laughs> <laughs> Next is video pinball, but we mm. did play that last episode accidentally. Mm. It didn't have the right um, the right date for it. The right yep. date for it is April 10th, okay. 1981. We're going to skip that one. Yep, fair enough. We played it, so check so, it off the list. Next one up is Warlords, if you want to read Warlords. that. Warlords, okay. No. Warlords came out June 10th, 1981 uh, by, uh, by Atari. It's, um... Carla Meninsky is the developer. Um, and so, so I guess the other name, are these names it was released as, or is this just this other names developers. for the game? Oh. Kings in, Kings in the Corner. That's the other name for it. Other name. Okay. Did it come out on the cartridges with that name, or it's just a name other, for the type of game? I think it was subtitled that. Ah. Uh, on the packaging or nice. somewhere. Yeah. Okay. So grab one of these. And we'll play oh, two parts. Right. I saw jumpy. I don't know. 
Oh, this has issues. Does this it? This game. But that's okay. We'll play with the issues. We're playing the original titles. Um, there was a fix made by uh, Daryl oh Spice gosh, it's Jr. terrible. So I'm yellow. I was blue, but I don't appear to be moving at all now. What? I'm not moving at all. Have you moved it all the way? Yep. Oh, there you there go. We go. You have to move it all the way around and find the area that it works in. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. So not the best uh, version of this game. Well, it was... Oh, there's gosh. some There's some errors in the programming <laughs> that don't work with all televisions. And it doesn't work with this television? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, the line counts jump, unfortunately, I think. I think that's the issue. Oh my goodness. I'm finding this very hard to play. Why? The controller? Oh, it's like... Come on, all the it's, way, one way or another. It's it's in a certain. I know, area I know, I know how it works. <laughs> it's just sometimes it's just not. Uh... Oh gosh, so we're playing three player, I think, accidentally. Oh. Because the other guy's not more oh, moving okay. at all. Well, we'll play two player next one. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. Get him! I don't have a good angle on him. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. No! No! Oh. Yeah! <laughs> After all of that. Woo! Break out the 80s era CRT! How many players are we playing here? Where am I? Which one are you moving? I don't know if I'm moving any of them. Are you moving purple? Yes, I am. Okay. Oh, but the green's not moving. Oh, no, he is moving. Okay, I think ah. we're in the right one now. Sorry for the screen jumps. This is how the original one of Warlords is. Should have used the fixed version. Too late for that. Ah, no! Oh, missed it. Damn it, missed it again. Nice. Just adds to the uh, crazy manicness of the game. Yeah, it was so jumpy. Oh my goodness. CRTs are able to handle this better. Ah no! This, this bad signal. Ah! Oh, you got two blocks left. Oh, that guy's dead. I'm not trying to get him. Ah. Oh, terrible. Someone said, nice job, Tanya, on the last game. Yeah, just snuck, snuck, snuck <laughs> in a win there right at the end. Oh, that guy's fast. Oh, I got him. Oh, almost. Almost. Next, next one. So close. Oh, mine's no. open a bit. Oh, he killed himself. Nice. That's the, the funnest part of this game is accidentally <laughs> destroying. Oh, gosh. Oh, so hard. The angles are tough. Yeah, on the corners? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on! Uh, uh, oh, uh. you have no bricks. You are exposed. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Can I get an angle? Yeah, you're protecting it pretty good. I'm, I'm terrible, Damn though. I, I find it very hard to protect it at an angle. How am I going to get that? Well, you have to get it at an angle. Ugh. I'll just get it. Yay! There we go. <laughs> One minute left. Woo, okay. Yeah, you guys just go after each other. Took himself out. Almost, Almost dead. Ugh, oh, damn it. Oh. Nice. Destroyed. Oh, no. Oh, at least I got the angle. Oh, oh. Well, that works. No. Oh. Oh. I no. passed the ball. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah. That's it for Warlords. We'll play this out. This round. No! That's what happened in our first playthrough of games. We're like, oh, we'll just play this one out. I know! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Devastation! Oh, no. It always oh. glitches just as it's about to hit me, too. Oh. Oh, it's nothing left than that angle. If I can do it from here. Oh, I can. Oh, <laughs> no. Good you caught that one. Oh, damn it. Oh, oh. <laughs> took myself out. Look at those angles. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. What's next? Can read what's next? Mm-hmm. Freeway. Is it freeway? It is freeway. Yay! From Activision by David Crane. Human freeway. Bloody human freeway. Freeway rabbits. Also known as. AKA. Yeah. Bloody human freeway. <laughs> yeah, I think that name was rejected. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that one actually worked. Okay, pick it up. Let's go. Oh no. We're usually playing version one of these games. There are many, many, many versions of the game. Some of them with more cars, some of them with faster cars, some with trucks. This is like Activision's answer to Frogger, except Frogger wasn't out at the time, was it? I can't remember, I, I, I talked about it during when I got the, f when we were oh, no. trying for the freeway patch. Does it, anybody know the, the, the relative dates of Frogger and freeway? Oh, come on. Slow cars. Oh. Yeah, some slow cars. Why are we timing poorly here? Oh, oh yeah, slow cars. Slow cars. Some fast, some slow. Got the patch. This is a, a very easy patch to get, this is one. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I got it in the first couple games, I believe, that I played. Some patches, Activision patches, oh, are like no. really easy and some are really hard. This is one of the easier ones. Yeah, it doesn't seem too bad. And you have to get, uh, I can't remember which games I think it's number two and number like 11 or something and you have to get a certain number of points to get the patch because the time is always the same amount of time that you have oh. I have one cart that can't play Popeye it jitters works fine on all my other CRTs that's funny yeah uh, some that are like a little bit out of spec there's actually a lot of games that are out of spec. It's the last round? Uh, that last little bit of time. Cause it's is that what the on, flashing is? Based on time. Oh, good job. Let's try a different Woo! version of it. Let's get some big trucks in there. What month did this game come out? Frogger came out on August 81, did according to the wiki the, page. Did you read the, the date? I did, but I can't remember oh, okay. it. <laughs> I oh read it God. out. This one's hard. Yes, it is. They not only move, they're bigger, oh. they slow down and speed up. Do they? Yeah. Yeah, a point. No, smooshed. Oh, no. Oh, smooshed chickens. Oh, no. Very smooshed chickens. This came out July 9th, 1981, approximately. That's the earliest known date for it to oh, for it advertised in the stores to be for sale. Oh, it pushed me way back. Oh no, no, no. Oh. No. Aha! Suddenly it speeds up and it goes crazy. Yeah. Squish. Squish. Squish that chicken. Oh. Doesn't squish the chicken. It just scares the chicken back. Get a close call. Oh. Oh yeah, it would be so sad if there was like 
red splat. Oh. That would make me very sad. Yeah, I don't think they'd, they'd sell that. You would oh. hope not. <laughs> be some outraged 80s parents. How dare you expose me to this violence as they eat their chicken dinner. <laughs> huh? Ah! Uh, no! The timing of all the cars! Go, 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 go! There we go. The game predates Frogger by a hair. Oh, no! And, of course, there are development times as well, so... Unless, uh... Oh, all the way back. Who made this? David Crane? Um, unless the developer... Yeah, I think it's David Crane. Um, is like, oh, got wind of Frogger and saw, like, the early screenshots of it or something. And then went, oh, I can, I can rip that off. But I'm pretty sure it's like, no, they're just developed independently. Oh, time. Ten, ten. Yes. Oh, 18 seconds left. So we won't start that one. Now you're talking Death Race. <laughs> death Race. This one has very good graphics. Mm. Multicolored sprites. Um, great use of colors. Mm. Um, lots of movement on it. Next one is Kaboom! Paddles go back in. Now, I haven't got the patch in Kaboom either. Oh, I'm Kaboom's not a good at hard this. game. You're either really good at Kaboom or you're not. Oh, this is a tight oh. cartridge. It's just hard. Because it gets really fast. Oh no! Cafe Man 2D, that's a very sad anecdote. Here. Are, no, you're playing. Are you? <laughs> I'm reading Cafe Man TD's anecdote. Okay. Reminds me of a rural cottage hotel I stayed at east of Chicago once. They put out bread on poles for raccoons to climb and eat. Then driving home, you see all these dead raccoons on the highway. Oh. <laughs> Trying to cross it for the bread. Oh. Oh, no. That's so Sadness. sad. Uh, kaboom. July 9th, 1981 by Activision. AG-010. It is a paddle game. It was created by Larry Kaplan and David Crane, and it is, well, an action game. It is Kaboom. There is nothing like Kaboom. No. There have been imitators, but really, the only game that's really like Kaboom is Kaboom. Yeah. For some reason. Well, is he considered. An arsonist, a bomber, a mad a bomber. Thief. He's a mad bomber. Whew! Should have lost a. I should have lost a Three. bomb at that. Yeah. Three thousand is the patch. Yes. Uh, I think I've gotten like just under two or something. Uh, this is when it gets. Stupid. Yeah, it gets. It does get stupid. And I lose all my paddles, all my buckets, <gasps> ah. buckets of water. Yeah, you want it. You want to die just before a thousand, so you get your bucket back. Uh, not only do you get your bucket back, yeah. it slows down. Yes. That's why you really wanted to yeah. uh, lose it before 1,000. One of the adult games I like is Kaboom, lol. <laughs> yeah, just... great game, but I think it ramps up a bit too quickly. Whoa, Agreed. Oh, yeah. This, this is this is the speed I can handle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Nutella speed. The Nutella. The, the teddy bear speed. No, Nutella. Nutella, Nutella speed. speed. <laughs> I like that. That's the best one. Watching experts play this just <gasps> blows my mind. It's like I can't even see what you're doing, let alone play it. Who was that? Thank you, Rogue late. Scholar 42, for following. Thank you. I think this is it. Boom. There yep. you go. That's the one. Oh. <sighs> I mean, it's not even that much slower. No, but it does give you a little bit of a leg up, I guess. Oh, 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 oh. this just stresses me out. I think you drop it on this one. Oh. Which I'm going to do anyway. Nope. 
Oh, I dropped it anyway. Oh, it's okay. Maybe it's 2,500 I got, because I shouldn't be doing this good. Oh. Ooh, that's a pretty decent, decent round. 2,256. Ooh. It's not bad, actually. Yeah, I tend to stare forward and sense patterns with perif peripheral that's vision. That's pretty much you what you gotta do. do. And I always find when I play this game, my eyes go dry. It's like I stop <laughs> blinking. You, you can't blink. You stop blinking. You have to blink. Oh, terrible. Yeah. You have to blink in between rounds. It, it's so true. You have to blink before you start <laughs> the next round up. It's like blink. Yeah. Visine in each eye before you start over. Yeah, maybe that's the secret to the, <laughs> the those experts. High, those super high scores. Visine users. Ugh. Not 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 legal in tournaments. No Visine. No Visine. <laughs> it's it's, it's um, uh, what do you want to say? A span substance, a controlled substance. Uh, it, no, but there's a term for that. Uh, it's a performance enhancing substance. That's right. When you're playing Kaboom, Visine. You get better with booze. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, please. Uh, Rogue Scholar says, please don't go out Clockwork and Orange and play this game. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, well, you just need a nurse to drop the drops in your eyes as you're, as you're going along. Oh. Ah. <laughs> All Literally. right. You going to finish it to the end or? I'm going to die. That's what's going to happen. Uh, oh, just missed it. Oh. Uh, too much. All right. This time it. Moving on. We are doing next. Asteroids, which came out July 13th, 1981, was released by Atari CX-2649, because James has it in his spreadsheet, uh, created by Brad Stewart. It is an action game, and uh, there is no other stuff noted. So, Asteroids. System Classic. seller. Is it? Is Did it cut, pack oh. in? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. It was oh, but just, people it bought it. It sold a gotcha. lot of systems because it was a huge hit in the arcade, right? Yeah. <laughs> And also Missile Command. I think this is really when they took off. Like mm. they, they took off in the 80, 1980 because there's some uh, a lot of a lot of really good um, games released in 1980. But this year, lots of good games. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh no! Uh, Lord Muncus says it was a pack in as well. Was I, it? My 2600 I got in 82 came with Asteroids and Combat. Oh, both two games. Very nice. Like, was it actually like advertised on the box, or was it like sold in a set in, in the store as a promotion? Mm. Like, like Atari said, "Oh, Asteroids is like a pack-in oh, game." Atari Twenty Six Hundred, dude. I got Asteroids as a pack-in game as well. Yeah, oh, in the okay. box. Lord Monkey says. Oh, wow. Very nice. I mean, Very nice. Makes sense. Ugh. Do I have to go get it? Hello, gray cat. Oh, now it's wrapped around. Back, just seeing if the black kitten uh, left some treats behind. This is one of the games that um, was part of the games that I played in 81. 81, okay. Slash 82, maybe. Yeah, somewhere around there. Because this is mid-81. Mm. Oh, thank Get you. The cat off the paper. He likes to uh, squish spreadsheets. Um, <laughs> printed spreadsheets. Yeah. Uh, the first 8K game, says Charles Whelan. Oh, wow. Oh, extra life. Yeah. I remember playing this game and just playing it infinitely. Mm -hmm. I don't know which um, level I was playing. It might have been the first level. Mm -hmm. um, but I just kept getting more and more lives. Just more and more lives. Pac right BG says, I never really got into this version. Too much like Pac-Man, paled against the arcade version. Well... This is like Pac-Man? No, no, but just not as good as the oh, arcade just, version. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. I mean, it looks different. Yeah. Um, Daryl Spice Jr. did a great job mm. with Space Rocks. Space Rocks. And he rocks. made them uh, more vector looking. Yes, they yes, weren't I remember They weren't that. solid. Like this one, yeah. Yeah. I was, I was thinking, I know we played this, but it must have been when we played Space Rocks, you were showing the game. Yes. Um, to show the differences between his Space Rocks version and the Asteroids. So. That's right. Oh, licky. I never really got into this one either. It's just... I don't know. Not because <laughs> it's not as good as the arcade. Yeah. It's just very... Seeing another life. Samey, samey. Yeah. 
I can shoot a lot of rocks. I mean, this one doesn't have UFO. This this. Um, Lord Monkey says I had it. the arcade uh, arcade cabin of asteroids deluxe. That game was vicious hard. I heard that with like a Bostonian accent, by the way. Like that was wicked hard. <laughs> wicked hard. Wicked hard. This cat's saliva is hot. Oh, no. He's licking me and I'm like, oh my God. He's getting rid of all his hot saliva. <laughs> I know, he's trying to, don't give me your hot saliva. <laughs> Gross, cat spit, gross. Is there a UFO? Where's the UFO? What level is the UFO oh, in? I don't know. Played Asteroids a lot in a couple of weeks. Maybe Cartridge was from a friend. Got bored when reached this, uh, when the score rolled. Batoko. <laughs> yeah, That's it's, a lot of gameplay. <laughs> it's pretty easy on some of these levels. Lord yeah. Monka says UFO comes out when you reach a certain score from oh, what I remember. So Okay, so probably won't be able cool. to see it. Yeah, 27 seconds left, so... Shoot those boulders. Yeah. Space boulders. Shoot them. Shoot them good. Shoot those space rocks. Destroy those space rocks. Yeah. I don't like moving in this game because then I just start drifting into the rocks. Yeah. I like staying in one space. Well, I, I'm with you with that. You start moving. Boom! It's it. so much harder to uh, readjust, readjust yourself. once you start floating around. You get a bit of momentum. What's All next right. One? Next one is Super Breakout Paddle Game. October 4th, 1981, released by Atari. Wait, am I reading the right one? Yes. October? Yep. Uh, CX-2608. It is a paddle game. It was created by Nick Turner. Uh, and it is considered an action game. Um, prototype hack called Bionic Breakthrough made for the MindLink controller. Oh, cool. I think there's a two-player option. Oh, Atari 2600 dude says for asteroids, there's a difficulty switch that makes the UFO come out earlier, I think. Oh, okay. Cool. It's okay. You play one player. I'll okay. play it in the next round. Okay. Or you'll probably Next le life. Next oh, time. yeah, I'd, I'm not super great at well, this, so I'll... Well, halfway through. How about that? Yeah. Two minutes, and I'll switch up, and then I'll die. Promptly. <laughs> Promptly die. So this is an upgrade from Breakout, which was released before. Um, more options, like it has little balls at yeah. the top. No power-ups, though. No, it's not Arkanoid. Arkanoid, that's what the one with the power-ups. That's a fun game. Yeah, Get the laser like... and shoot all the rest of them. Uh, yeah, so you I don't have like to Arkanoid. bounce off the walls infinitely trying to get that last... Oh, one. yeah. Ah! The one corner one. Yeah. Yeah. Not the most action packed game for playing on a live stream. No. Bang. Bounce. Bang. She Unless you can get it to go actually. bounce, bounce, bounce at the top. Although, at some point, those balls will get released. That'll be very exciting. Do I get those balls? I think they just bounce around and do they destroy more? They must. I don't They're know. like extra pinball balls. Multi ball. Yes, multi ball. I hope so. I have not played this very much. Oh, cat. What are you doing? Almost. Almost. Oh, now I've Get got. Get the multi ball. Oh, God. Just in time. Oh, oh super ah. fast multi balls. As soon as you get to the blue, it doubles in speed. Oh, it's not... so this is the one that, that yeah, increases in speed when you hit the different layers. Somebody does not know about fractional incrementation. Fractional incrementation. Just like double. We'll just double the speed. Multiball! Oh! Chaos oh, multiball! Oh, I'm keeping both of them! Oh my god! Oh! Get it up there! Oh. Get it up there! Yeah! yeah. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! And it surprisingly comes down at some point and you're not ready for it. Well, it seems to go through oh, the red tiny. a little bit. Oh, tiny! No, I hit the ceiling and I became tiny. Oh, no! <sighs> oh, you get bigger oh. after that. Thank goodness. Probably till you hit the ceiling again. Oh, no. And I'm tiny. <laughs> ah, so tiny. <laughs> Help. Help. So tiny. No. It's like you start off oh. as Atari, and then you end up as Sprite. Yeah. <laughs> oh, tiny. If it was tiny and slow, fine. 
but it's fast. Well, you'll as hit the blue hit and it'll go boom. Oh, come on. Hit, stop going in the same. There we go. Yeah, get the, get the purples. No, not the blue. What? It goes through, it goes through ah. the, the oh diagonals. God. I've noticed that. Ah. Oh, come on. Oh, it goes dark. Right. Your turn. Thank you. All. For a minute. For a minute. But it starts off easier. I'm not very good at this game. I like the sound in this game, especially when it, uh, it goes -de 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 at the top when you get all the red ones. That's some good sounds. I'm actually going to turn up the sound. It's very low. There we go. It is hot today. Ooh, it is warm. It's in the high 20s today. It's warm in the room, but it's cooling down a bit now that uh, it's getting a little bit later in the evening. I've got the fan in the window. Close. How did I miss that? Why didn't Atari release Super Space Invaders or Super Missile Command? Good question. I mean, really. Probably played out ah. by then. Oh. This one I did not play back in the day. No? Nope. Not everyone had Breakout. Um, Super Breakout, all the versions. Not for, my, not for the Ataris that I played. Nope. Ooh. Got a slow multi ball. Lucky. Won't be slow for long. Oof. Just caught it. You hit that blue. And it's over. All right. Where's the sheet? It's next to me. Can you get the sheet? Bad. You have to reach over. I have balls in the air. Ice hockey. Ah. Nope. Gotta keep moving. <laughs> Read the info for ice hockey. Ice hockey, not a paddle game. No, I'll just switch every second. Ice here. hockey, December seventh, nineteen eighty one, released by Activision, AX dash O one two, developed by Alan Miller. It is an action sports sports game, and that is all I have on the page. Okay, ready? Oh my, I am blue. Ugh. I believe Awkward. you can fight in this game. Can you? Yes. Awesome. I think, if I remember correctly. Oh, come on. That's not how you... Ah, Oof. that's not how you get a goal? Silliness? Yeah! Uh. <laughs> oh. Better wake up. Oh, good save. No, no, no. Ah, no! Why are you so far out? That's get dumbass. back in the box. I want to get back in the box. Ah! <laughs> nice. No fighting, but you can slash people. Okay. You yeah, can that, slash that's, people? That's what I mean. Yeah. Not like fighting. legitimately? Yeah. You can make them fall on the ice. <sighs> ah! <sighs> oh, come on. It's not angling the way I want it to. Oh, come on, where are you going to the right? Why are you going to the right? She Why is it going to the right? You're moving your stick to the right No, I'm something. not. Not in the slightest. Oh, don't mess with the goalie. Oh, come on. Oh, you want to come out of your goal? <laughs> yeah, you'll have to... Oh. oh, come on. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, damn it. Oh, it, the angles are super weird for... Oh, no. Oh, come on. What an opportunity. <laughs> what? what garbage is that? <laughs> oh, I knocked you down. Did you? Yep. Oh, get, get it down the ice. Get it down the ice. Oh, oh, oh. Get back in your goal! Why is it? <laughs> Go back! Because <laughs> there's only two players who oh, can come, come out on. really far. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh, come on, get a goal! Oh, oh. yeah! <laughs> Damn it. Don't celebrate too long. Oh, I've got the puck. I'm so hot! It's so warm to be playing ice hockey right now. Nice. Oh, so warm to be playing ice hockey. Oh. Too warm. Too warm. Too warm. Street hockey then. I guess it would have to be. Oh. 
Oh no! 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 Yeah! <laughs> no! Oh! Yes. Oh! Eleven seconds left. No! Now I just have to not let you score a goal. Uh, no, seven, six, no, 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 not fa oh, come on. <laughs> oh, I'm too warm. <laughs> You're too warm. I'm so warm. <laughs> Got half a minute left. Oh. Oh, that's okay, the game is done. I'm just going to try and slash, slash the opposing player right now. Oh, hey. yeah! <laughs> That's knock, one way. Can knock down the goalie. Yeah, you can! <laughs> Attacking the goalie and then scoring a goal. That's not how you play. Uh, it is when you play uh, Atari ice hockey. <laughs> Apparently there are no penalties in this game. <laughs> no, everybody just gets up and keeps playing. <laughs> Oh! Nice. <laughs> Sending the goon out on the ice. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Oof, oof. Next it's one is exciting. Stampede. Is that fan on still? Oh. <laughs> Ready? Lasso those cows. This is released December, the last one was released December 7th as well. This one's December 7th. Oh, there you go. I'll reset it. That's okay. No, you're dead. You are dead yep. and is not couch compliant. This one's released December 7th in time for Christmas by Activision. It's AG11, made by Bob Whitehead, also known as Rodeo Champ. Now, so how does this work? You want to push. What is, what is that? You want to get all the black ones. You want to push ahead the slow ones. Don't lasso them. You can't miss any. Oh. Can't miss any. You've got one left you can miss. No. Oh, well. Again, things that are good to know before. So you only you start. touch the slow ones, but you lasso the fa um, fast, fast ones. You don't want to so lasso the, all of them? No, because you only want to leave one or two lanes open to lasso. So. Yeah. No, you want to push those brown ones. I don't. I don't get why. Uh, oh. Because then they're very, very, very slow on the oh. screen, so that you have lots of time to get the to other bounce ones. the other ones. Okay. So lasso that one. Lasso that one. Lasso all of them except for the dark brown ones. I wish I could move forward. <laughs> Nope. So don't lasso those. Just push them. Now you want to lasso one of those. One of them? And that's the one where they're all going to come in on. Right? There you go. Get that. And push along that guy. Push along that guy. And ideally you'll do that with two of them. Gotcha. You keep two of them open. So you'll get that one at the bottom too. And then you'll be lassoing the bottom two rows. Gotcha. And eventually you'll, you line, you'll line up the top four rows. So you just go push, 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 and then you go back down, right? Hmm. Always get that cow. Stampede. This one took a little bit to get the patch because it took a little bit to figure out the patterns that you have to do. And also when the black cows that stand still come because there is a rhythm to that. It is super cute, I, I oh, have yeah. to say. Super cute, great graphics. Get it? Ah! No, push those along. As long as you touch them, you're fine. Sometimes you have to push the fast ones too, like the non-brown ones, Yeah. just to get them, get them out of the way so you can deal with other things. See, now they're kind of lining up, right? Get more lined up, which is good. You want them all lined up. I get it. I get it. There's method to this madness. Yep. It's actually a pretty fun game. Ah! Oh, 
I, I see that's a, that's uh, a very poor done. tactic. Very poor tactic. What, what I yep. did just there. Leave a really slow one and get the other ones first. Ooh, fun game though. Very cute. Very cute little little cows. They're very cute. <laughs> I, I agree with you there. There you go. <gasps> So you actually want to leave that one as late as possible and then do two in a row. Like, leave that one as late as possible. Oh, I see. What I, right now. Yeah. So you, they start lining up, right? Oh, it's so hard to get that and in then time. there's a um, pattern to the skulls and black cows. You're like, okay, two skulls, black mm. cows coming. And select other modes to mix up the patterns. Well... Tanya's just learning, uh, so yeah. this is a good one to learn on. There, now though both those are lined up, right? Look at those little tails. Flicky, 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 flicky. Flicky tails. There we go. And that's the last of the games that I have cartridges for. <sighs> Black ones get ya. So the rest Ooh. will be on the Harmony card. This one's Skeet Shooting. Um, I don't have many uh, Apollo games. This one was released mm -hmm. December 27th, 1981. Uh, by Apollo, it's AP1001 by Ed Salvo. So good luck to us figuring this out. I didn't read the instructions because it's skeet shooting, so. Can you play, and I'm gonna get some water. Do you want some more water? Or are you no, okay? I'm good. I just haven't, oh my God. Very, very, very hot. Very hot, kids. Oh. How am I supposed to even shoot that one? <laughs> well, it's not lined up at all. What? Oh, oh, I almost got that one. If I didn't shoot that one immediately, like, how am I supposed to get that? Oh, okay. I could have shot that one straight. Well, that one's easy. Yay, one point. Almost a point. It's a game, Charles Whelan says. What? I mean, this is their first release, right? Yeah, this is Apollo's first release. So, I guess it's a game? Yay! I mean, the explosion's pretty cool. The guy's graphics are not the greatest. A little weak. <laughs> I don't understand, like, like you can't get that one. Oh, like, you have to get it really quickly, I guess. Like, immediately. Like, that one you can get. Okay. When you're on the side... It could oh, use yeah. paddles. I don't know. Uh, for a shovelware title. Yep, it's the beginning of the end. <laughs> It's not paddles because I'm actually moving the direction of the mm. shot. Unless it's paddles and shooting? Should I put sh paddles in the second? Is that a two player game? Let's try a different uh, option. So you press the button, you appear on the screen. No? Move around the joystick? No? Mm -hmm. No? My turn? Oh, it's two player. Now it's your turn. No, it's your turn. Press the button. What the hell is happening? Oh, you maybe you pick where it gets shot? Oh. Oh. I'm picking where you are. I have no idea what's happening. Yeah, this is you so pick bad. It. <laughs> <laughs> you you pick my shot. Okay. So I, I picked something, and then you have to... Yeah, that's super uh, weird. I don't know. Maybe I should put a paddle in the second one? I don't even know how you can shoot some of them. That's me. Mm. I'm red. You're blue. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> it's really terrible. I'm sure there's more to it, but... Oh, this is just faster. 
<laughs> like how you should be able to aim, shouldn't you? Like this should be a paddle game. That's probably the best uh, strategy. The best tactic. <laughs> Let's just shoot. Shoot as fast as possible. Can you just hold it down? Yeah. Oh, you can. Funny. Oh, almost. <laughs> Charles Wynn said there isn't more to it, so you know about this game. Yeah, you got 10 right. points. That's pretty good. <laughs> and 52 seconds left. Let me just bring up the instructions. <laughs> Maybe we'll figure out how this is supposed to work. This is called skeet shoot. Skeet shoot. Skeet shoot. Instruction manuals. Uh, you can shoot right. Or can you? Shoot left. Hmm. E.T. was a lot better than this. Oh, E.T. is actually a good adventure game. This is crap. No, I can't shoot right and left. Yeah, it says you can, but... I don't know about this game. Skeet shoot if you're blind. Yeah. This is bad news, this game. Ooh, pretty rough. Pretty so that's rough. the last of the official dates. The rest are Games sometime in 1981. Vague dates, okay. Yeah. And they're not even really games. Um, first one's Magic Card. Load that one up. What is it? Magic. Magic Card actually magic uses the card. keyboard. Really. Controllers. And it's a programming game. Oh. In assembly. In assembly. Now, it's gonna take way too long. <sighs> To show this game off. Okay. Um, so we're just going to just look at it a little bit. Okay. It's a good thing the timer's going. It's a so. programming tool. Tool. So it's so obviously not a game. So for people at home who want to program a game. In assembly with the limited resources that you would have. Gotcha. So start pressing the buttons. Nine nine nine. Seven 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 eight eight eight. So all the numbers are numbers on there. Okay, stop. What are the bottom rows? Double zero. Oh, five and six that's seven. That's like increasing. That's like scrolling through the addresses, and that's what the code is in the address. Okay. Okay, stop. Fofo. I None haven't of... done the um. Hmm? Uh, oh, I haven't no. done the pound sign yet. Okay, so. press oh. it. Nothing? Nothing. No. Fofo. Fofo. <laughs> Fofo kittens. <laughs> oh, no. See, I can type it in and the pound sign like enters enter? it. Gotcha. Yeah. I don't know how you get hexadecimal though. Wow. I wonder if Skeet Shoot was uh, programmed in this game. <laughs> it was. <laughs> this is how they programmed Skeet Shoot. That's right. So manual entry of opcodes and addresses. Yeah. yeah. Pretty tedious. <laughs> uh, it's made by Comavid. <laughs> we found one worse than Skeet Shoot. Very <laughs> nice. Well, yeah. as a game, yes. <laughs> so this one goes through. Hi. Hi. Cuddle Cat. Oh, my God. I think I'm running the game. I got a blue screen. <laughs> blue screen of death <laughs> on the 2600. James's first Atari program. Right here yeah. on Zero Page Homebrew. That's right. Blue screen of death. Three hours to entry, <laughs> ent enter 2K. It would be. <laughs> but you wouldn't even have 2K because the only thing it can remember is the RAM. Mm -hmm. But it needs some of the RAM, just like basic programming. I don't think there was any uh, extra RAM invented yet for cartridges. Mm. Unless they did for this. I didn't do any research for this one. Um, as you can tell. Um, so we'd have to use the RAM for the information. And I think it only went up to... It only went up to, like, 8. Like, 
Let's try and get this back. <laughs> AAFD. How did I get AAFD? I don't know. Well, you, it's not doing anything anymore. No, you've, you've, you've. I've maxed out its memory. I, I don't know what you've done. <laughs> Fofo oh. is back. Okay, so you can do hexadecimal. You switch okay. in and out of it somehow. Oh. Yeah, without having the booklet that comes with this. <laughs> oh, now this does the numbers. Oh, and Pac this... FAG says, ah, oh, just watch Skeet Shoot YouTube video and every shot was possible. Okay, we just don't know how. Stack yeah. overflow. Yeah. So one of them does the uh, numbers and one of them does the letters. Gotcha. So it's it's assembly programming in yeah. instead of basic programming. It's their answer to the basic programming. Gotcha. Hmm. But I'm sure you just, you don't have a lot of room. Yeah. For your program. You can probably do some simple stuff like yeah. blue screens. Blue screens. You're not going to have any letters unless they have some fonts. I mean, mm. they do have A through F yeah. and zeros and zero through nine. Interesting. So you're probably just learn like, how would it output it? And what does that CM times two stand for? Don't know. We're just clicking. And I don't know what Fofo means. Oh, 10 seconds left. Excellent. This is the most boring game on the system. <laughs> Yeah, we're really kind of just highlighting games yeah. mostly. Yeah, but it was it, was it released on cartridge? Yep, all there these were released on cartridge. Cartridge. And now for the last one. Oh, Chalcedony Mao says the manual had a program for Conway's life. Ah, which is what we're playing. Ah, next. there we go. It's by the same company. <laughs> is there a next up IRS tax game? <laughs> <laughs> There's a game Can called you... Tax. Can you? Imagine. There's a game called Tax Avoiders. Yep. On the 2600. I, I don't doubt it somehow. Good thing they added the annoying beep too. <laughs> it really makes it. So the last game of the night is Video Life. Um, by Comavid. Comavid 002. C C CM002. And it's Life Simulation. Has a little intro, which is actually really impressive really impressive yeah oh this is uh game of life yeah okay do you uh interact at all yeah you yeah. it looks like you draw it and then you start it right you put well, things or delete it. things it's got coordinates so you can probably draw as well if you hold it down hold it down i don't want to draw okay those are going to die instantly why because they have no neighbors oh they're not close enough Let's just look up video life. How do video. you start it again? Um, probably with the other button. I'm going to do it. Yeah, they die instantly. Ah, uh, gotcha. Ooh, you've almost got a star there. Video life by Comavid. Yep, exactly what we thought. The right joystick starts and stops, and the left joystick draws. That's pretty much it. There's some difficulty switches that um, you can have a magnification window. Which doesn't seem to be working. Oh, 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 you made some things that are growing. I this is very, go. this is actually really, really impressive. Pretty. Oh, right, ZPH. Yeah, this is really impressive. Draw a glider. Do you know how to draw a glider? Uh. I'll look it up. I can't remember. It's like a. It's like an angle like this. Oh, I see that. That. Um, hey, my three crosses made a very pretty pattern there. It did. Oh, there's a glider. Oh, it's a tall H. <laughs> no, there's one too many there. Ah. Okay, and draw a glider now. It's that one. Oh, 
What's the glider? This one. Three on the bottom. Okay. And then one up. There. And then one up and over. And that's it. That's it? Yep. You ready? Yep. There goes the glider. ZPH is destroyed. <laughs> but still going. It's going Didn't no. disappear. Look at, look at the beautiful one on the oh, left. Oh, it's going to interfere. Don't. ZPH. Oh, no, still hasn't interfered. It made a face. Wow. Oh my gosh. That was cool. ZPH is still going. It's trying to destroy my other pretty one. Oh, Don't it made do it. it. Oh, it interfered no. with one of them. Oh, no. Oh, it's, oh, it's completely oh, infiltrating. No. No, it was so nice. Glider's still going. Is it? Yeah. Has iterations? Yeah, it Generations must be. of yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, and then it, it has a 1. 103, 104. So that must go to 99. It's doing it. And you can make it go fast as well. But it flickers like crazy. Which is not worth it. Nope. That's what it says it's in the manual. Extreme. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Ooh, life. So this is actually very impressive it's in very cool. multiple, for multiple reasons. The complexity of storing this information and processing yeah. all of this on the screen. I mean, it's simple logic, but it does these, it makes these amazing patterns. I love it. Because it has to analyze every dot and, and what's then, around it. And what's around it. Then the next dot. And what's around yeah. it. Next dot. What's around it. Yeah. Um, for tons of spots. Basically every pixel on the screen, right? Every pixel on the screen. And there's a lot of pixels. Yeah. I'm really impressed with this. Yeah, me too. Yeah. There we go. So that is it for 1981. Woohoo! Some, good year. Uh, good some year. Heavy hitters. Very heavy hitters. Activision. Um, yeah, put out some know, really good coming games. Coming at coming into its own, I think. Some really good games. Really, really well known games. So, uh, take a look at this, and you tell me what your favorites were of the night. Let's see. Um, I think tennis is an exceptional game. Yeah. It plays like a oh, game of tennis. Oh, it did have wrap around. I didn't notice that. Sorry. Oh yeah. Um, it pl it's a really, really good game. Good. Like the movement of the characters, it feels like you're playing a game of tennis. Yep. It's not exactly easy. You have to get angles and hit the ball and you can miss it. Like it actually felt like a game of tennis. It was really, really good. Yeah. Like that's a an exceptional it plays game. Plays well. It's very easy to play. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, you wouldn't think I'd be the one going for the sports games, but actually I thought that was a really impressive. <laughs> Hockey's super fun as well. Activision Hockey is makes as well. great sports yeah. games. Um, what else of the other games? I yeah. don't know. I mean, Hockey and tennis are up, up, on the, up on my list as well. A, a number of the other games I've played before. I mean, Freeway is always fun. Yep. Um, Simple. You can play it a couple times. You're not going to play it for a long time. I Life think... at the end was really cool too. I I think yeah, I'm surprised of by the that, pack. Actually. Uh, tennis. Warlords, come on. I like warlords, but it plays ho horribly. Yeah, I mean the proper warlords. Uh, the proper the warlords. Fixed one. I can't I can't pick warlords from that list because it's pretty awful. Um, but you know tennis, I actually think tennis might be my favorite. Two player games really? were outstanding. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Azure loves Missile Command. Missile Command's fun. Um, I think Warlords is number one for me out of this list. Yeah. Metal Lunar, it wasn't a Pong derivative. Yes. I'm like, is this just another word for Pong? No, no. It, it was actual tennis. It yep. was very well done. There's serving. Yeah. There's hitting at different points on your racket as well. There's moving in and out of, of the. Court. And I didn't even realize at first you could move in and out, but then it just really feels like you're playing a game of tennis. Yeah. I started to get sweaty by <laughs> You were. You're like, like <laughs> really, really into it. So, like, uh, so my, for me, ice hockey, tennis, uh, warlords. Yes. Um, They're high up there. Kaboom, Atari 2600 dude. Kaboom's really hard for me. So, if I was good at it, I'd probably like it a lot more. Kaboom's a really interesting, is a really unique game. Um, I, but I find it frustrating. That's probably why it's not in my top games. I felt tennis, you could jump in and play it, and it was had a little bit of strategy and complexity to it. It's a yeah. pretty fun game. You need a proper TV for Warlords. <laughs> yeah. No, there's a fixed yeah. version so that I yeah, should, that I should have got. Play. I've totally forgot that Warlords is broken. For, for yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's 
skeet shoot kidding <laughs> so uh the next show is tomorrow yes uh i do have i don't know if we're gonna do another after dark tomorrow it is hot, so we may not want to spend more time. It's gonna in be here. auto week. We have to get through these. No, but I will cool off by the towards the end of the week. It's supposed to get cooler Thursday, Friday. So, so <laughs> we're gonna be... fall very far, far behind. Oh no, I'm not saying we can't do it, but oh. we might not want to do it all in one sitting. We might want to oh, do I one see. on Wednesday or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It's just but warm. <laughs> tomorrow we have With the, the lights. yeah uh, we have the world exclusive world premiere of two Jaguar games. Mm. Uh, chaos, the the chaos engine, I should oh, say. Oh, the sprite has shown up. And uh, gods, so you don't want to miss that if you are a fan of the Bitmap Brothers original games that uh, appeared on like the Amiga and uh, Atari ST, and I think they're on uh, DOS as well. Mm -hmm. And we have, of course, 1982 Part One, Two, and Three coming up. Yes. Uh, one, two, and three. That's day a lot one, two, and three of, of it. Games. Part one, two, and three. It's it exploded after this. Yeah. After nineteen eighty one. So how many from nineteen eighty two off the top of your head? Uh, I think it was like, it was like 100. Yeah. Really? Yeah, hundred. So you went. How many were on this list? Uh, twenty around. Wow, from twenty to a hundred in one year. Yeah, people saw the wow. dollar signs, and I think yeah. the information spread of how to make games. Yeah. Because two more companies. Besides Activision are on this list now, yeah. Apollo and Comavid. So there's more knowledge out there. And then other game systems are like, oh my God, these people are making millions of dollars releasing yeah. this game. Yeah. And it just takes one person to make a game in a couple yeah. weeks. Yeah. It's time to cash in. It's like any new tech, anything that gets picked up. Yeah. Within a year, there's like saturation of garbage in the market right like not yeah. all garbage but but there's everyone jumps on board and then it kind of crashes after that right like yeah but yeah. we still have 82 83 84 of just there's lots of games but it start, starts to creep in a lot of garbage in 83 and 84 yeah yeah 82 should still be probably pretty solid a lot of solid games yeah there. yeah um especially from the big names yeah um yeah Park, parker brothers i don't know when they come in but uh, atari and activision obviously yeah. are just getting better and better and then eventually you get like almost like the direct to video movies yes, you know shovelware shovelware it gets really bad yeah, yeah. <laughs> um but we're gonna play all those games awesome um and I'm then on forward to it friday we have uh, an exclusive work in progress update pretty much the final version of penta slash pengo mm. haven't played that in a while uh uzi the goo gaiden is pretty much done it's our release candidate so we're gonna play through that nice and Jax or Better as well Jax as a works or in better. progress. That sounds very much like a card game. So. It is. Excellent. I believe it's Blackjack. I like and a Magic. Games. Yes. Very good a Magic Yes, games. a Magic. Tons of solid games in 82. Excellent. So the next three uh, shows of that will be very good. Mm. Um, yeah. So uh, that's it for this After Dark. Hope you enjoyed 1981. <laughs> it's a lot of fun playing through it. I enjoyed and it. It was a good, solid group of games, too. It was. And it went pretty fast, because there wasn't so many. Other than Skeet Shoot, everything felt like a good, well-rounded, playable game. Skeet Shoot, and it's possible something was wrong with our controls, but... Um, possible. It's possible, but... Uh, yeah. I, yeah, they were all good. They were all good games. Yeah, except for Skeet Shoot. Except for Skeet Shoot. <laughs> Yeah. Steeplechase even was fine. It was fun jumping over those I liked it. I, it I, once like, you get the hang of it, it was It's like an endless fun. runner, almost. And again, it's like you could play... It looks like you can play with four players. Yeah, you could, because it's paddles. It's just one button. That's a good four-player game. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you, Dan, for saying it's a great show. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Atari 2600 dude, Charles Whelan, uh, Metal Lunar 7, Pack Rat VG, um, Azure 6502... Uh, Andrew Davey, Chalcedony Mao, mm -hmm. Meow, 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 <laughs> um, Two D. Who else? <laughs> Lord Monkus was there. Rogue uh, Scholar. 42. Thank you for following. Yeah, thank yep. you. Who else? Um, I know there's another name in here. Up a bit. M. Souza, three D. Oh, there we go. Tile style. I 
hair cat. Yep. And Carlos Madruga. Who subscribed. Thank, Thank you, you for very subscribing. Much. Glad you enjoyed awesome. it. Awesome. And uh, so we'll be back on tomorrow for Tuesday. I'm <laughs> like, like so used to saying days ahead. Yeah. yeah we'll be back tomorrow back with tomorrow. some exclusive world premieres for yes. Jaguar. First Yay. time we have exclusive world premieres for Jaguar. I'm excited for so that. So it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. And uh, we'll be playing some more games in 1982. Excellent. Coming up. Uh, well, so we'll see you then. Tune All in right. tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a good night. Have a good night.